Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the 100 Foster Puppy Challenge, the cutest 100 challenge in all of Sims YouTube, if I do say so myself. Erin is up early. She could not sleep. She is like fully rested at like three something this morning. She's going to pay for that later today. <laughs> Absolutely. Emma just got back from prom last night. What are we? Oh, our notification wall is full. It is still dark out. She is awake. I'm gonna have her clean up. Oh my gosh. Hi, sweetie. Panda is so sweet with these puppies. I am so excited that we have another owned dog in the house. We know that Panda is gonna be a staple. She's gonna stay five ever. Oh, hi, Obi. Hopefully Obi is a little bit less uh, maintenance this episode. I'm thinking that we're going to have three age ups. Oh, our sink broke and our dog is licking in it. How about we don't drink from a puddle or wake Sims up? How about that? It is a full-time job keeping this house running and clean and up. Uh, good, oh good, okay, great. So let's not do that either, Erin. Girl, focus. Yes, Panda has learned not to drink from puddles. We are gonna be focusing, yep, yep. Let's not play in puddles either there, bud. We're gonna be focusing on Panda. Hopefully this episode, once we have pups aged up and spayed and neutered so that we can train her, we definitely want her to be maxed out on all of her tricks before it is her time, before she goes. Yes, Obi's learned to pee outside. Whew, that took forever, you guys, but he's learned and that's amazing. Learn not to play in puddles. Oh my gosh, Obi, we've put so much work into you and then we're gonna, we're gonna give you to somebody else. But that is okay, that's why we do this, right? Well, certainly while we are waiting for our dogs, our pups to age up, I think we can be training. Let's not play in puddles, baby. Ooh, I hope Emma stays asleep a while. She was out late for prom. She's got a lot of great memories. Actually, that brings me, I wanted to put out her, her pictures, definitely with her friends. We have one with Mayra and one with Cassie. I actually love that placement up there. Erin, you are knitting. I love that for you, but also could we pay attention to our own dog? Let's roughhouse with her a little bit, get some of that energy out before we start training her. And then for sure, sit training is what we're gonna start with. It just switched over to a new season. So our garden, unfortunately, is not gonna be able to help us out. Erin wants to listen to some pop music. So why don't we put that on in the background? Ooh, look at how smart Fox is using the potty. Got some training going. Emma is so mad. Apparently because of social media, I went ahead and just turned Social Bunny off. It's it's just a lot of distraction. And like, I know that that's the point. Like the point is to make sure that your teen Sims are like obsessed with their phones, with social media, that they're always on it, that it really affects them. But like, uh, if let's say you have a Sim that isn't as much into that, it's, it's really annoying. <gasps> Miles has learned to pee outside. Yes. Love that for you. Love that for us, actually. We also need to be getting pups in. Couple of pups. You guys have been awesome at leaving name suggestions. I have a nice long list of Star Wars names. You guys are <laughs> saved me because like I said, I've, I've watched the Star Wars series. Did I absorb many of the names and places and the history? Nope, did not. Certainly did not. Yay, Panda learned how to say good girl Panda. Erin, let's feel the love with Panda because we certainly need to be getting you your second companion. I think Emma's just gonna talk with her mom a little bit. Let's share a secret, maybe about prom. She could be like, oh my gosh, I saw Cassandra with a guy. I'm super excited for her. I haven't had a chance to talk with her about it yet. <gasps> Become companions. Perfect. Meeting all our goals this morning. Oh my gosh, now Molly wants to be our best friend. Sure, absolutely. And then we'll invite Mayra over and uh, and make her our best friend. Yes, awesome. Okay, lifestyle or lifetime goal complete. Play with two different ghost pets. Okay, feel the love with it. Let's lecture about 
barking because we don't want her to do that. Pet her, like it's great to be loyal to us, but you don't need to be possessive of us. Let's banter with Molly. Let's do a friendly introduction, mom. Emma, actually, let's get you bonding with Panda a little bit. Let's have her take her on a jog, nice, healthy habits that we are starting. That is a little bit much for summer, but okay, you do, you do you. Ooh, Molly <laughs> is giving mouths what for? Oh my gosh, you guys, I wonder when these guys are gonna age up. Mouse is not having it, absolutely not having it. You know what, we're gonna change it to winter holiday music. Aaron wants to listen to it anyway. And real Aaron, me, would put on Christmas music, winter holiday music all year round. I do not think that there is a season for it. If it makes you happy, listen. Did you, <laughs> you changed into your swimsuit to go, well, it is, it is, actually it's fall. Oh my gosh, you must be freezing, girl. Did you try to go take a dip in the pool? That's nuts. Okay, well, you know, you do you. I wanna keep an eye on all of these puppies. I do not wanna miss an age up. I do not wanna miss a birthday. There's Obi, where's Fox? Fox is under the couch. All right, coming out. And Mouse is just chilling in the garden. Look at these dogs, that's so cute. Our daughter's friend is flirty with us. How about we like guide her a little bit? Let's help fix a bad relationship with Savannah. Yeah, let's, let's do that. You're right, I'll go talk to them next time I see them. Good job, Molly, growth growth that is all i ask for it's all we can all ask for let's empty that bowl please take care of our house make it look good and you know what guys i am sick of just waiting for these pups to age up let's get some new puppies in okay so we have xena the norwegian is that a buhund norwegian buhund we have bubbles the standard schnauzer oh we've never had a schnauzer or have we we have Murphy the Icelandic Sheepdog. That would be beautiful. We have Ninja the Chow Lab Mix. Shredder the German Shepherd. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Doodle the Poodle. Oh, that is perfect. That would, <laughs> that would really bother me to change that dog's name because that's perfect. And we have Kaya the Carrie Blue Terrier. Let's do Murphy the Icelandic Sheepdog. We've already had a Poodle. So we're not gonna do Doodle, as cute as that name is. We have not had a Kerry Blue Terrier. We haven't had a German Shepherd. I actually really want that German Shepherd. So let's get these guys over here. Oh, hey, I. What do we wanna do with I? We wanna be mischievous. I always seems to come when we are bringing puppies in. She always seems to know. She's like, you know what? I bet Aaron's gonna bring in some puppies. I wanna see that stuff. Oh, it's Jeb. It's our buddy Jeb. Oh, look. Hi, little pup. Let's do a friendliest introduction to Murphy. Now Jeb wants to be our best friend. Go ahead. Yes, of course. I agree. Emma is nasty from her walk, but that is fine. <laughs> and where's this? Oh, there's the other pup. Yes, just became acquaintances with Murphy. Murphy is what? Murphy is a male. Let's adopt Murphy. Okay, so Murphy is an Icelandic sheepdog. They're a spitz kind of breed. They're a little bit fluffy and they're going to be on the smaller side. Blue Eyes actually had a whole lot of really great names for this. I think I'm going to take Blue Eyes suggestion and name him Ewok because he's going to be small and fluffy. Yay, we've added a pet to our household. Hi, little Ewok. How adorable. Those are beautiful blue eyes. Now we're gonna go ahead and introduce ourselves to Shredder. Shredder, I think, would be a really good dog. Like just the German Shepherd breed would be a really good name for, I don't know, like a like a Jedi or something like that. Shredder is also a male. Okay, perfect. Yes, we wanna adopt this pet. So Shredder, I saw when I clicked on him, had a little troublemaker trait. I think I am going to take a suggestion from Pioneer Girl 08. I saw Hans as a suggestion, because um, Hans is sort of that like mischievous character. So welcome Hans. We are now a full household again. We have five pups, one adult dog, and our two Sims. 
Aaron, let's end our adoption evaluation. Let's fill all of our pet bowls in case our pups are hungry. And guys, I had wanted to wait until these guys aged up, like our, our last litter of puppies aged up. But I don't know. Like, it just feels like we're waiting. I wonder if it's glitched at all. Oh, I just saw that Ewok was playful. After Aaron feeds all the dogs, let's go ahead and call our friends to the meal. Want to be good hosts. And hopefully somebody ages up. I really want to see what these dogs look like as adults, especially Miles, our Doberman Pinscher. I think that she's going to have natural ears, which makes me happy. So will Obi. The standing up ears for a Doberman and a Great Dane are not natural. They actually have to have their ears cut and shaped into that. Oh, she, I gave us gummy bear pancakes. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at all of these dogs. <laughs> and not a one of them is aging up. These puppies are late. They must just be maturing on a different schedule. That's okay, that's fine. Why don't we ask the new pups to go potty? Get them started on that, as we always do. That's a good skill to have. Ooh, Jeb does not like Mouse. You look, she didn't do anything to you. So, like, let's not antagonize her, okay? Ooh, Jeb is talking to us about some heartbreak. It's nice to see them being social. Like, I have this narrative in my head that... Emma is kind of socially awkward, but she keeps having all of these people that want to be best friends with her. So I'm guessing that is, excuse me, sir and ma'am. Oh my goodness. Let's, oh gosh, let's lecture all these pups. Oh, you're being such a good pup. Ooh, we have to actually look at traits now that I think about it. So Hans is a hairy vocal troublemaker. That is, from what I remember of the Star Wars movies, a pretty accurate description of Han Solo. Ewok is a stubborn, playful, smart dog. Okay, all right, I'll allow it. Thank goodness Emma just became friends with Miles. She is a tougher dog to become friends with because of how much correcting that she's gonna need. Aaron, don't you dare. You do not need coffee at this time of night. Go feel the love with Panda some. Looks like our guests are leaving. Ooh, and our puppies. No playing in puddles. No playing in puddles. Oh boy, you guys. <laughs> love having a new batch of puppies all sorts of new behaviors to reteach. Yes, Ewok has learned not to play in puddles. Love you, Ewok. Really, guys? Nobody is going to age up? Oh, Erin is exhausted. She's like, I'm out, guys. I'm, I'm done. Done for the night. You guys can age up anytime you want to. Literally anytime. I'm here for it. I'm ready for it. We're going to support you, celebrate you. Fox, come on, buddy. No, you don't want to age up? Obi, how about you, Obi? Mouse? Guys, I don't know if you have started a 100 puppy challenge. If you have, how is it going? And also guys, if you are liking this content, don't forget to like and subscribe if you would want to. It does a lot to help out the channel. It's a great way to tell YouTube that you enjoy this content and it ups the chances that YouTube will recommend it to people with your similar watch history. Awesome, we've got a great reputation. I'm gonna send Emma to bed because that seems to be how a lot of our age ups go. They just seem to happen like in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna try to force this to happen. <laughs> I think we might have some glitched puppers. Good morning, guys. So we did not have any age ups during the middle of the night, like I was hoping. Oh, hello, little Hans. I think everybody really minded their manners last night, which is great. Obi, as you can see, is the same color he was when he went to bed. He did not get into any mischief. I'm so proud of him. Ewok just woke up. Aw, Erin's just helping Emma with her homework. Emma really doesn't need to do homework. She's already got the grade that I want her to have. But I think it's a very Emma thing to do. Well, as they are getting ready for the day, like I said, it was playing through the night to see if we had any age ups then. That did not happen. I think we are definitely going to be having those age ups next episode. So while Emma gets ready for school, Erin gets ready for the day. I am actually going to end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching along and for everything that you do to help out the channel, leaving a like, leaving a comment, leaving your name suggestions. I love those. And you guys, thank you for the love that you have been showing 
this series. This is by far one of my better performing series and I am just so jazzed every week to be able to bring this to you. I hope you guys have an absolutely lovely week. I will catch you in the next one and as always, happy simming.